Well, hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle. And if you're not new And if you're not new here, hi, my name's still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm going to be doing the reading habits tag. Um, I'm super, super excited about this, but I'm also really nervous because I feel like all of you guys are about to come for me in the comments. Feel free if you want to, you know, hash it out with me, let's do it. I'm, I'm stinking ready, okay? So before we get into the reading habits tag, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. If you haven't already, I post super fun book content every Friday and Sunday, so you don't want to miss it. It's super fun. And I may or may not possibly be starting to upload on Wednesdays as well, so might even have some extra content for you. So you definitely want to hit the big red button. We're gonna try and get this reading tag, you know, going because it's 9.28 p.m. and your girl's cramping, okay? And it's just, it's not my day today. So we're gonna try and get through this so I don't bore you to death. So let's go ahead and get into the 11 questions. So question number one is, do you have a certain place at home for a reading? The answer is yes, and you're looking at it. It's usually right here in this here green reading chair that I purchased, um, or it's on my other couch. It's usually where I am, it's usually the living room. I just like to, I don't know what it is, but I like to be near my books when I'm reading. I don't know, maybe I'm a weirdo. But yes, yeah, so usually the couch, um, it's just, that's my fave spot. It's comfy, I can sit there for hours at a time and focus on reading, so there's that. Question number two is bookmark or random piece of paper? So I'm definitely a bookmark girl. I have a collection of bookmarks. Actually, let me see if I can get them. Okay, so this is my collection of bookmarks. It's a very small collection. Um, this is not a bookmark, this is a calligraphy pen. I'm cool like that. So I just keep them in like this old like Bath and Body Works candle jar. So definitely bookmarks. Um, if I'm somewhere and I don't have a bookmark on me, I'll just use something random, but I usually always have a bookmark. Question number three is, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? So I definitely, like I prefer to finish at the end of a chapter. I don't like to finish in the middle of a chapter because I feel like when I come back to read it, I don't really know what's going on. It's not like a clean start. I feel like there wasn't like a proper pause. So then it's not like a clean start, if you know what I mean. Um, so I usually read until the end of a chapter. Now, if something happens and I'm in like, for instance, if I take my book to work and I'm reading while I'm at work and a customer walks in while I'm in the middle of a chapter, I'm not going to say, hang on one second, I need to finish this chapter. Um, obviously, I'm going to stop, but it's definitely not my preference. Number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? Drink, yes. Eat, no. I don't know why, but I can't. Like, I get so focused on eating that, like, I'm, I'll have, like, a book open and I literally won't read a single word. Um, when I eat, I like to watch TV, so I like to turn something on and just like eat and just like, I don't know, get lost in TV. Cause I eat, I eat really fast. Like I eat within like 10 minutes. I don't know, I feel like my eating isn't slow enough or spaced out enough for me to even be able to read pages. So I usually don't eat. I also like the biggest pet peeve of mine is someone that eats and then like you have like stains in your book from food. Like I just can't, I can't do it. Maybe if it's something that's not messy, but like, no, I, I usually do not eat. I do usually like drink tea or water while I read though. Number five is multitasking like music or TV while I'm reading. Um, music sometimes if I'm really trying to like set an atmosphere, I'll play like a playlist that corresponds to like the genre that I'm reading. So like if it's fantasy, I'll play like a fantasy playlist. If it's sci-fi, I'll play like an interstellar playlist. That's where it's at. Um, so yeah, but never TV. If the TV is on, I can't read because I just find myself like constantly looking up to see what the TV has on it, but I don't, like I can't read while the TV's on. Like I I get too distracted. I, I'm not really good at like shutting out outside noises while I read. Yeah, so TV, no. Music, yes, but not music with lyrics. That throws me off too, because then I just want to sing it. Um, question number six is one book at a time or several at once? I'm usually a one book at a time kind of person. Um, not because I prefer it that way, I just, happen to read that way. Um, I can read multiple books at once. I've done it before and I don't like mix the plots or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I usually just end up picking up one book at a time because I feel like I read faster if I just focus on one book. I don't know if you think about it, like if you read a hundred pages of another book, one book, and then you read a hundred pages of another book, you could have read a hundred other pages of the same book and finished that book faster. And maybe that doesn't make sense. Maybe, maybe that's just me, but I'm usually one book 
at a time. If I'm reading multiple at a time, I'm stressed and I'm just like losing my mind. Yeah, it's usually it. Question number seven is reading at home or everywhere? Um, everywhere. I bring my book everywhere I go. I bring it to work, I bring it to the church, I bring it if I'm going to the store. Like I, I literally bring it everywhere because if I have a moment to read, I'm gonna open up my book and read. Um, but I'm usually at home, I feel like. Like the majority of my reading time is done at home. I do take my book with me. So like preference wise, I don't really have a preference. I'll read anywhere, but if it's talking like where do I actually read the most, it's definitely at home. Question number eight is reading out loud or silently in your head. I read silently in my head, but if there's something that like I'm not, like my brain is not grasping, I'll read it out loud like slowly so that I can like actually understand what it's saying. Sometimes I have to do that in like some of the faith-based books that I read. Like sometimes I find myself like my mind like will drift while I'm reading something and then I have to stop and go back and then actually read it out loud so that my brain will like focus on what I just read. Um, but I prefer to read in my head. I feel like I read faster in my head. I can't talk as fast as my brain is thinking. Number nine is do you read ahead or even skip pages? Um, never skip pages. I know I cannot do that. I feel like that is like cheating. Like I feel like that's cheating my time with the book because like for me, like the way to be connected with a book is to read each and every word and like really dive in like with that character. I feel like if you skip pages, you're like skipping pieces of their life and you're like not able to connect with them as well. That's just like a personal opinion though. But Sometimes I will like skip ahead like if it's only in certain books though Like if certain books are t being too informative and there's like I'd rather just be getting to the dialogue because the dialogue is going to explain what the Paragraphs of information is saying then sometimes I'll just kind of like scan it But I never skip pages and I won't skip more than maybe like three or four sentences at a time Like I don't just like um, okay. I understand that page and move on to the next like I can't I don't know I can't do that. I feel like I feel like that's just like disgraceful. Does that mean? I don't know. If you do that, I don't really care, but like personal preference, I don't. Number 10 is breaking the spine or keeping it like new. So this one's really hard because I personally like floppy paperbacks. Let me see if I can find a good example. Yeah, okay. So Beach Read, Emily Henry, like this is pretty, like a, it's got a pretty good little flop to it, you know? I feel like it opens like far enough. I feel like I don't think I would break the spine on this one because that's like open enough for me to read it. But this one, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sergio Mass, is like, it's not as floppy. It's kind of stiff. Like this one opens up about this much. So this one, yes, I have broken the spine on this, but you can't see it as much as I thought you could. But I, I prefer not to break the spines. Like I don't like breaking the spines. I feel like I'm hurting the book, but Sometimes I just like have to so that I can actually read it. So yeah, I prefer not to break the spines But if I do it's because I had a good reason. So. Um, number 11. Do you write in your books? Yes But not all of the time this one that I'm currently reading. I'm annotating um, I'm not physically writing in it. I'm highlighting in it some books I will write in it if like I have a thought or like like my Harry Potter books. I have written in those um, Like if I have a thought I just write it um, but these ones I have not, I haven't written in it. I have just like highlighted stuff. And one of the main reasons is this is actually Jonathan's book. <laughs> I for actually forgot when I started reading it and then I had already highlighted stuff and I was like, oh sorry, I highlighted in your book. But yeah, so I do highlight in my book, but it's not every book. I don't like annotating. I don't annotate all of my books. It's really books that I either feel really connected to or like I feel the need to annotate them. Like if I'm not understanding them that well, I'll try and annotate it to break it down a little bit. Um, into more like bite-sized pieces, but yeah, like if it's a dense book, I'll definitely annotate and write in it. That is the reading habits tag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, getting to know me as a reader a little bit more. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, let's go ahead and chat in the comments about some of your reading habits. I would love to see how similar we are, how different we may be, uh, because that's always fun. So comment down below some of your reading habits um, and let's chat, let's talk it up. Um, but yeah, um, once again, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Um, feel free to reach out to me on any of my socials. Um, those are linked in the description box as well. I, um, no, I would say I always respond. I do always respond. So if you were to DM me or message me, I am going to respond to you. 
Um, if you comment to me, comment on one of my videos, I will respond to you. Um, so don't hesitate, just reach out, it'll be fun. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.